G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So there's the raised bed. Coffee tree. She's put some dragon fruits in on the fence there. So this bit here has got um, um, an easy oya on irrigation. Um, this is the second year I'm using it. I'm flipping to mine the bad end, so I might do the big or like clay pot uh, in the field. I think they're a bit too small. Um, mm -hmm. I think they do it well. Yeah. That's the native beehives. Um, these are my native bees and my worm farm. And again, the shelf brief um, made the shelf. So Valerie was saying one of the problems with the pipe garden is in summer it got really hot, hence the hessian bags over them to try and keep them cool. It's interesting to see because that's something I got to admit I thought about my own yard for around the fences just to provide some extra space. She's growing a lot of stuff you can see in pots. It's interesting just to see the same sort of people you know encounter the same problems um, because of the limited space on these tiny city blocks. So there's another little interesting setup. Oh, she's made wicking beds out of those. You can see, see the holes at the bottom? And you may be able to see there's green shade cloth in there. And she's obviously got the poly pipe in and puts the shade cloth over. So that's a couple of beds, little beds of um, strawberries. Some lemon balm, tomatoes, herbs and things. There you go, that's all interesting use of tight small spaces. So you can see it's a nice little social group of people. We get together probably once a month for a garden visit. Always fun. And the beauty is you get to see so many different ways, you know, different approaches. Some people have got big yards, some people have got tiny yards, like me and Valerie obviously suffers the same problem. Um, so it's always really fun to just see how other people do it. Yeah. 
when I when I saw that on the video, I thought I can't believe it. Yeah. I've, I've got it all over the street. Yeah, yeah. This is so much cheaper than and it's buying renewable, back and forth. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's great. I like this paper bath. Boy, you could do a lot of stuff with this. I reckon. <laughs> Given just the regular hanging basket, hey, just line up yes. there, line up with that stuff. Yeah. Okay, now, wrap it with the paper bark, or you could do the sphagnum musk, but you really want to. Um, squeeze the, the moisture out of it and then we wrap it. Did you put the pink moss in already? Yeah, I've mixed it with the, the saw. And there we have the finished products. Brown, so um, oh, yeah. it just, you coat it with the wax, yeah. and basically, like if you've got half a banana or something, yeah. you can place it in a cream. So, if you've got half a banana or half a cucumber, you can just like rub it in, and it just it will keep it straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. yeah. And then if you want to wash it, you just wipe it with uh, a water So this part of the visit, we're learning how to make beeswax wraps. Yeah, and give it that nice little... It won't, and also it's an anti-fray. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll let you cut your piece and I'll bring the wax. I'm just warming up the tray so it doesn't solidify as soon as we bring it out. Oh, so you great. Did it look great all right? Like yeah, 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 it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to grate my fingers. Well, I didn't know how much wax you'd need, so, I, so we might we might grate some more. I don't know. We'll see. It's a little bit like a spoon. Okay. So um, what we do is we first of all we're going to grate the wax. So we grate the wax, and then I've melted it in a pot on a really low heat to not um, destroy the wax and I've added a little bit of coconut oil and what the coconut oil does is it keeps the um, the wrap more um, malleable and it, um, it keeps it a little bit sticky so that when you've got the wrap it's easy to just wrap it around and then with the forms of your hand it will take the shape, the shape and it will keep the shape like that. Beautiful and that replaces your cling wrap hey? That replaces your cling wrap. Ah, isn't there? Look, look at all that wax. You want to start grating? Okay. And I've got a, I've got tongue somewhere. And the only difference really is that you normally use pretty coloured cloth, don't you? <laughs> and it's not, it's a tight weave cloth, yeah? It's just cotton cloth, just light cotton cloth. Okay. See, that would, that would work better in the oven because it's, it is sort of fine already. 